What's up, people? This is a Detroit Miracle promo. And now I find myself in a pleasant Detroit community. Yeah, I'm coming to you, people, from the west side of Detroit. And I must say that it is a dang fine day. You know something about neighborhoods, the way they are structured of communities. Apparently, each neighborhood is situated to meet the needs of a certain social class of people. Meaning you have lower communities, which is deemed ghettos. You have lower middle class communities, which are deemed a step up from that. You have middle class communities, which are deemed of the well to do, but they could do a whole lot better than that. And you have very rich communities or wealthy communities for the people who have made it. And those very people stand as a symbol or standard of excellence for the masses to uh, esteem to be like eventually. Yeah, many already know about that, but I'm just pointing it out because I want to make a point. Now follow me. I've grown up much of my life in the inner city in my community, which was a fairly decent community and neighborhood. And we had a lot of well upkept homes and nice lawns, which means people took pride in where they lived, even though other people outside of our community might have looked at it as a ghetto or a hood. So that was a indication that if a whole bunch of people take pride and what they have and where they live and keep it up, then they will have their own paradise. Even if others outside of it look down on that. Well, let's get back to what I initially touched on. There are different types of communities for each social class. And there are even worser communities than ghettos and hoods. And those communities that are worser would be called slums. And they would facilitate people who are incredibly impoverished. That means those people are living in conditions that are well below or beneath the standards of proper living conditions. So when you move up to ghettos, that means that a lot of people have struggles and they could do a, a heck of a lot better, but chances are they have fair enough jobs or they have jobs that they are barely able to accumulate something to live well or halfway decent. So things are a struggle as I had said, and those communities are like stepping stones in a way. That would be a way to look at it as far as um, slums and ghettos and even low class or lower middle class communities. Those could be looked at as stepping stones like or, lad or like a ladder where you move from one step to a higher step. And then once you've made it out into that rich community or something, you are in fact there, but it doesn't end there because you must remain there. 
once you have made it, in fact, and you know, you hear about people that have made bad choices and bad investments and have lost everything and eventually wound right back where they started. I know I'm going to stay on a beating path. I'm deviating a bit from it. So communities are structured and we all know that there are, like I said, I'm going to go through it again. There are slum communities. There are ghetto neighborhoods. There are lower class, middle cl class communities. There are upper middle class neighborhoods and communities, and there are rich communities. So you can look at it as five on a ladder or five steps. You know, you can either go either way on that ladder. You can go up or down. But if you are already down at the lowest, you cannot go any further than that. <laughs> now, if you are already at the highest, you cannot go any further than that because the way things are structured in society, you can only gain a certain amount of power and wealth anyway. That's how it is. And that's how it's perceived by those mindsets who can actually see things much more clearly. Yeah, people. Well, thanks for hanging out with Detroit Miracle again. And please drop those likes, comments, and up those subscriptions to me. And peace out.